Well, I up and did it. Yes, I got my second vaccine. And I did that on Saturday. I The first one went really well. And I didn't have any pain. I didn't have any any symptoms whatsoever. I was great. And I was like, you know, I'm glad that one's over. But then I started hearing a few little stories about people being sick with a second one or, or hurting or whatever. And I started dreading it a little bit. You know, if you didn't listen to half of what you hear around you, you'd be a whole lot better off. You wouldn't get quite as um, disturbed and upset about things that, that happen that you have no control over. Well, anyway, I got up on Saturday morning, and I got ready and headed out. Now, my doctor's office is only two blocks away, so I didn't have far to go. There was no wait. I got right in there, got checked in, and... Um, got my shot, and then I had to wait 30 minutes. But I had I had saved, um, I had taken with me a crossword puzzle book because I love doing those, and I thought, well, that'd be something I can do while I'm sitting there waiting for them to decide if I'm going to need them or not. And so I dragged it out, and I started to work on it, but I I discovered that what was going on around me was much more interesting. People have been so isolated that they want to talk to somebody. And and all these oldsters were sitting around either talking to each other or they were talking to the nurses. And this old gentleman was telling his life story and, and this other lady She's, oh, I'm 94, and blah, blah, you know. So, <laughs> it was cute. But um, I thought, well, you know, people shouldn't take advantage of the times when they can have someone to talk to. Now, I've had two days of feeling a little weird and tired. Just didn't want to do anything. And... um and my arm was a little bit sore. But that's been it. So let's all get those shots so we can get rid of this dang old virus. I'm ready to get out of here and do some stuff. How about you?